Maggie's Main Street Diner. Yeah. Here we are. And guess what? It's not a diner. We're in, uh, we're in Albuquerque on our way back up to Red River with Mikey, uh, Muck505 on Instagram that is. And which way are we going, Mike? You know what, we're gonna take a really great road trip through Albuquerque along the Foothills Tramway Boulevard and then we're gonna take I-40 East getting off into Harris to head on North 14 through Cedar Crest in the mountains. A great stop in Madrid, New Mexico where they filmed the movie Wild Hogs, which is great. Head on into Santa Fe that way, heading north. We'll go the 599 bypass up towards Española. And then we're gonna jump on Highway 503, take the high road to Taos is what it's actually called. And that'll bring us around over the rim to Taos. And then on up through Cuesta and Red River. Enjoy the road trip, it's a beautiful day for it. Okay, but wait. I'm in. Well, wait. But wait. What? We there's more. There's more. <laughs> We have to make a pit stop because somebody whose name we will not mention <laughs> got into some poison ivy. The <laughs> avid hiker that I am, is <laughs> we're going by the pharmacy. Yeah. Thank goodness for. Why? How did you get for poison ivy? <laughs> what do you mean? How'd you get it? Obviously, I went. We were on trails all day yesterday. Obvious, obviously, I went and. Bump, bump, bump butt log. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? What happened? <laughs> so that's our pit stop, and the then we're gonna get on the road. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Bye. See you on the road. Got the poison ivy cure. <laughs> I'm happy. This is one of those rare moments where Richard has no problem relinquishing his role as the lead rider as we head out on the Turquoise Trail Scenic Byway. Leaving Albuquerque behind, we headed out of town on the old Route 66, a road that runs parallel to Interstate 40. The official start to the Turquoise Trail begins into Harris, where we hopped onto New Mexico 14 at the Cedar Crest exit. The turquoise trail links the towns of Albuquerque and Santa Fe and carves its way through pinion covered hills and valleys. The views are amazing. Madrid is a popular halfway stopping point for motorcyclists on the turquoise trail. It was founded in 1869 swelling with miners who came first for gold and later coal. Unfortunately, the boom didn't last and the town collapsed. In fact, if you'd had the cash in 1954, you could have bought the whole town for $250,000. <laughs> the Mineshaft Tavern here in Madrid is also one of the best stops if you were on the hunt throughout New Mexico on the Green Chili Cheeseburger Trail. This is a must do. Come on in. 
We opted to not get the green chili cheeseburger as soon as we saw what was on the menu. Who can't go wrong with fried green chili stuffed with cheese? We're lost. Lost in Madrid. Or actually Madrid. Look at you. Oh, yes. Once considered a ghost town, Madrid is now a funky art community with over 40 shops that have taken residency in the small miners' houses that line the streets. Maggie's Main Street Diner, yeah. here we are. And guess what? It's not a diner. It was a movie prop. Let's be real. What was the movie it was in? Uh, Wild Hogs. Wild Hogs. Wild Hogs with Travolta yeah. and a couple of kids. It was a good movie. It were was they, cute. Were they unrealistically ride? Rode side by side, by side all side. the time, yeah. <laughs> which was not very smart, not but cool. that's what they were doing. So it's a great gift shop, though. Give it a five star gift shop, uh, one star when it comes to food. Because there's no food. There might be a potato <laughs> chip in there. That's <laughs> it. <Yeah, laughs> no food. <laughs> that's it. Just a little insider tip that it's Madrid. I didn't know. It's Madrid here, not no, no, Madrid. No, Madrid. That's in Spain. In That's New Mexico, it's Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> Leaving Madrid behind, we motored on heading towards Red River. By the way, our road trip up here uh, was fantastic. We had originally told everybody that we were going to take a spur on the 503 to take the high road to Taos. But due to Rocky Mountain afternoon weather and the monsoon storms coming through, we decided to continue on north past 503 up into Española. And once you get to Española, the road is beautiful drive through the Rio Grande Gorge where the Rio Grande River comes out of Taos. And it's absolutely beautiful. The river's right along the edge of the road and then you top off on the plateau in Taos, continuing north through Taos onto Cuesta. And then we hung a, hung a right in Cuesta at the only stoplight that exists in that town and <laughs> headed over here to Red River. So tell me about this. Well, I used to ride an old Ironhead for years. And I had an engine fund and was going to build one with my son. Well, the engine fund sat in the bank and I was in Lubbock, Texas one day working for the Army and uh, just stopped in for a t-shirt. And Wild West Harley Davidson was flipping the motorcycles for the local Lubbock Police Department. They roll their, their fleet every two years to keep the factory warranties with them. And, this one only had, it's a 2012 Road King Police Special. It had 7,003 miles on it when I bought it. And uh, boy, I saw this thing and fell in love with it. So my engine fund went towards a down payment. Spent a lot of time on the road with Rich and doing a lot of things. And 11 of us went to the 75th anniversary of Sturgis 
on this. And so the front fender has a tattoo that we gave it. Uh, 11 of us rode from Albuquerque, New Mexico, all the way up to South Dakota and back. Great trip, but that's the story behind my bike. <laughs>